Who are you? Well, I'm Jasper. I'm an independent museum consultant working on, uh, I'd like to say, the digital side of, of museums, so helping museums uh, innovate and use the tools of the 21st century to uh, reach and engage their audiences. Okay, and I saw you have a website or a blog, the Museum of the Future? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so what's your recipe for the museum of the future have you have you got have you got one good advice or tip uh, one good one, one good advice or a recipe um I, I don't know i think the museum of the future above all is a quest that that a lot of people at this moment are working on that does not have one definite answer so there's not there's no such thing as one recipe for the museum of the future but there's some ingredients that you can uh, yeah so some of, some of the ingredients i think are are um, a change of thinking from a building oriented and a collection oriented institution towards an institution that uses its building and its collection to engage and interact with with audiences so uh, that's one of the changes more audience centered another one is change from from presenting information uh, on in a variety of means to um, stimulating a dialogue or, or, or a debate uh, around the information that is being offered so that's the second one and there's there's many other uh, ingredients uh, that also have to do with funding that have to do with with the way you treat your staff etc uh, etc is it important to reach a new audience for the museums? Can they, can they survive without a new audience? This is a fun question. I've, uh, when I was young, I went to Coca-Cola and I, I asked them, uh, everybody in the world knows Coca-Cola, so why do you still do uh, advertisements? And then the, the man, the marketing manager who I was interviewing, he said a very wise thing. He said, people die and new people are born. Mm -hmm. And if you're not there all the time, then people forget about you. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's always important to reach new audiences but it's also very important to reconnect with existing audiences mm -hmm. that um, might come once or might come twice but you know don't interact in the way we want people to interact or don't get as involved as they could be with a museum so is it important to reach new audiences yes mm -hmm. it's just as important to reconnect with the existing ones and even to treat your most loyal visitors mm -hmm. better than we've ever done before yeah. And is uh, children uh, a good way to reach a new audience? Well, um, through children. Through children, I think children as well. When I worked for a history museum, uh, we very quickly decided there's two there's two kinds of people in the world: those that, as a kid, had a good history teacher, mm -hmm. and those that, as a kid, had a terrible history teacher, and those that, as a kid, has a good history teacher all their lives they will stay interested in history and stories and finding out about culture and and mm -hmm. and challenging their beliefs and their ideas etc and those that are the crappy one they don't go to museums anymore so um, if we are going to reach kids let's do it in the best way possible because if we do it wrongly i'm not trying to say foul words here but if we do it wrongly we'll lose them forever it's essential we leave a good impression on kids. Did you have a good history teacher? I had a brilliant, brilliant history teacher. One that, apart from encouraging my uh, uh, enthusiasm for culture, did it for reading, literature, a lot of other things. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jasper. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thank Mikael. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have more questions, just send an email. Yeah. I'm always there to answer yeah. them. Well, not always there. But.